George Washington, first president, by Adams was succeeded. Thomas Jefferson did came, the people's cause he pleaded. James Madison was next to go, he gave John Ball appealing. Then James Monroe, he did bestow in the year of good feelings. Then John Q. Adams followed him after Andrew Jackson. Beat the British at New Orleans with much great satisfaction. Van Buren was next to chair, then Harrison, then Tyler. The latter made the Whigs so mad they almost bust their bar. We next elected James K. Polk, and that stuff did, did vex us. Or should we fight with Mexico when taken Lone Star, Texas? Then Taylor was our leader, but he soon had to forsake it. For Millard Fillmore filled it more, Frank Pierce then said, I'll take it. James Buchanan then hopped right in, Lincoln then was chosen. He found the problems of the day were anything but frozen. And Johnson had a rougher time, the Senate did impeach him. But as it took a two-thirds vote, they lacked one vote to reach him. Then we come to U.S. Grant, who made his name at Shiloh. Then Hayes and Garfield, who got shot. Then they both hailed from Ohio. Chet Arthur then takes this. Then Cleveland took it over. Then Harrison was sandwiched in, and once more it was Grover. McKinley kindled Spain to war, and Teddy Roosevelt fought it. Then Teddy took the White House key till William H. Taft sought it. Wilson then kept us out of war until we had to win it. He tried to get us in the league, but we saw nothing in it. Up next was Warren Harding with his teapot dome up boiling till Coolidge took the kettle off in silence ever toiling. The boom came in with Hoover, but it very soon got busted. Franklin Roosevelt got the call and four times was entrusted. Then the Axis started World War II and fought till they got meager. Then Roosevelt died and Truman tried, though he didn't seem too eager. But still, he fought against the communists' big power until the GOP came back and won with Eisenhower. Ike then came up and he took care of the stuff without malice. Then Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas. Vietnam War troubled Lyndon Baines Johnson. Next, we have President 37, Richard Nixon. Ford then came and Carter went. Reagan then was president. Served eight years and was a hero to the nation. Built our army up and made us become a big power. Then we came with Herbert Walker. Bush, who made us the leader of the free world, when Clinton then came along. Second term was Stormy, but W and Obama. Obama was the first one elected from African descent. Donald John Trump became our 45th president. Joe Biden, number 46, is the current one. We do not have, even know who will be the next one.